Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Can we still say that? It's like halfway through January. I think so. It's 2022! We hope you had Can a good you... Christmas, holiday period, New Year. We had a lovely time, we, we were at my sister's. Um, sorry for the extended break, we were going to upload a video last week, but we thought, no, we're going to have an extra week. We enjoyed just relaxing, putting the camera down, yeah. so we thought we'd extend that a little bit longer. We were in bed at 7pm, New Year's Eve. We were. Uh, I saw Midnight feeding Rupert. You did, I was there as well. You snuck in like, Happy New Year! Happy New Year. I was like, okay, thank you. Good and night. I went down to see my parents, and uh, yeah, we were in Norfolk for New Year. And St Albans for Christmas. Yeah. So lovely. It was really, really nice. Um, but we are back. It's a new year, and we are ready to go. We are. This year's going to be an exciting one, I just know it. I just know it. Fingers crossed. One of the first things on our to-do list in 2022 is to sort out the office. Mm. So we're going to show you in this vlog a little bit of the office and the where home we've office. got to. The home office. Because I've moved out to a proper office. We're going to decorate the one at home. Um, so you're going to get... Well, I've been working on the desk. Yes. So getting the legs onto a nice piece of wood. I'll show you that on the screen now. Um, and then we'll probably take you through and just have a, a little look at it. Show you where we're at it's with so that. so nice. And then the other thing we're going to take you through um, is what we got for Christmas. Oh yeah. Because we got some really cool things. Rupert so got far too much from family and friends. We didn't really get him much. No, we didn't. But uh, yeah, we got some We got some cool gifts. Got his first piano. He did. And a little drum kit. I think we're forcing him to be musical. <laughs> I know, poor kid. Fingers crossed he will be. I mean, he d he's enjoying them. Yeah. He is enjoying it. Right, and then what else are we going to do? Who knows? So let's just dive straight in. Yeah. And we'll show you what we've been up to. <clears throat> wow, it's already looking good. Here it is, yeah. Quite an effort to get it in place because it's just, it, you know, it fills the whole, the whole wall. We've given it, what, have you given it one coat? One coat of Danish oil, um, some antique oak I think it is. But this piece of wood actually came from Megan's dad. Um, he's got a business that recycles wood, recycles land. Yeah. Um, and he chopped a nice big piece of wood for us, dried it, brought it down. Solid, I mean it's so heavy. And it looks amazing. Show them a bit of the green. How gorgeous is that? Uh, so the plan is to have two chairs here and kind of like a smart office that we don't use as much. Like I'm obviously going to be using the office down the road on a daily basis but this is just at the weekends if we need to get some work done and then fingers crossed we'll get like a chair. Like a single sofa bed. Um, that can fold out if we need to. Maybe put some dado rails in, who knows? That's the plan. And then paint. This room's coming along nicely. Yeah. Right, I think the little man is due to wake up now. Yeah. Should we go and get him? Just quickly got dressed, but before I show you what we got for Christmas, someone has woken up from his nap. Hello. Did you have a good snooze? Are we ready for the day? Big stretch. Wah! He is getting so big. I mean, look at the size of this kid. I mean, these are a bit long, but that's because he doesn't fit in any three to six month clothes, even though he's only four and a half months old. You're in six to nine months. We measured him the other day, and it turns out he is in the 91st percentile for his height. So he's basically really, really long. He's doing so, so well. Why are you going to kick yourself off the table if you're not careful? Um, so we're going to get redressed for the day, and then, yeah, we'll have a look at the presents. Right, are you ready for the day? You got your cute little dungarees on. Who's hungry? <laughs> Let's go and feed you. So I finished putting the desk together. It's oh, starting it's to look really good. Really good. Yes. We need to get um, a decorator in to like paint all the walls, and it's going to be nice once we're finished. Yeah, we might not do that one. But Rome wasn't built in a day. No. We're very slowly getting there. We are. Um, but we thought we'd take you through a few of our little Christmas presents that we got. Yeah. We got some really cute things. Um, should we do Rupert first? Rupert got way, way too much, so we're not going to show you so everything. So much. But he some of the cool things. Very spoiled little boy from he all was. friends and family. We got him his first piano. We did. From Baby Einstein. <laughs> we love that. We've been using as, that a lot. As the grand grand, so he's got two. Yes. We're going to leave one with her. Yeah, and one and here. And then one down he here. He loves that. And sticking with the music theme, we also got him a little drum kit. A little drum kit. And a mini, mini, mini. And a maraca. Oh yeah. Or a tambourine, whatever you call oh, it, a yeah, shaker. He got, he got that as well. <gasps> yes, so you're did. going to make lots of noise. You also got a little book, Stephen Hawking book. Yeah. 
Stephen Hawking book's cute. There's an older one as well, so when he's a teenager, he can learn a little bit more about Stephen. And Rue's final present, which was really cool, from his auntie, Abby, my auntie Abby. Oh, yeah. Um, these little bath lights. He absolutely bath loves bath time. Loves bath but time. But we thought we would try and step it up a notch. Yeah. And we got Bring some like, disco. disco lights. They're but really I think cool. to begin with, we've only used it on like the setting, which is just kind of lighting slowly. Yeah. I think it might overwhelm them a little bit. Yeah. If we went full on disco. And then what did I buy? We only do small, well, we agreed to do small presents. We do. Really small stocking fillers. So I stuck to the brief uh, and I got Jamie personalized plectrums for his guitar. Jamie's plectrums. He got my initials on. J A C on them. So yeah. you can play in style. Boo -boo. Doo -doo -doo. They were from Not on the High Street. And I also got this really cool map because we want to do so many more trips this year. We 2022 do. is it's gonna be our year. It is. We are going travelling. Even if it's around the UK, we are even if it's weekends perfect. away, we are travelling okay. around the it. country. So I got this map it's of a, the UK. It shows you like all the interesting things around the country. So let's go in to roughly where my parents are from and where I grew up. In the village just down the road. World Snail Racing Championship. <laughs> I don't think we'll be rushing there, darling. No, though I have, I've been to it. Uh, but yeah, wherever we are in the country. There's amazing places up in Scotland that you can go and see. West Scotland? Ben Nevis, Glen Nevis, all the Scottish borders, so all the amazing things that you can go and do if we were to go and drive the coast of Scotland. So that was a really, really cool map. I think um, we should keep that in the car, so wherever yeah. we're driving we can just be like, oh, we've got half an hour to Kill. Where should we go? I'll put links to everything in the description if you think, oh, I know someone who'd really love that as a gift. Uh, They'd probably do them for other countries as well. Jamie didn't stick to the brief. He oh, was I did. so naughty. He bought me some new pink um, Beats headphones, wireless headphones. The reason is because whenever Megan goes on her evening strolls or daily strolls, she takes my headphones and I was like, you know what, maybe you should get your own Bluetooth headphones. I love them. So I went for pink, of course. We've actually started, so Rupert needs to have a little power nap before bed, but it's the one that he resists the most. So we head out in the pram between half past four and five in the afternoon, and he just has 25 minutes just to get him through to bedtime. And we're so exhausted from the day uh, that we end up putting our headphones on. Connecting them both to my phone yeah. and listening to a podcast. Like the same podcast. Yeah. So we're walking along like laughing with each other at the same time. If, if other nice. people saw us, they would think it's really weird. Because yeah. we'd just be walking along and then both of us burst out laughing. <laughs> Not talking. What's the podcast? Because it oh, is good. My school, my therapist ghosted me. Um, and it's... Jo, oh my gosh, her surname, McAnally? I'm gonna I have to listen to that. And Vogue Williams. Anyway, they are both utterly hilarious. They're so Irish. if you want, if you oh, want a little giggle, are. then go and listen to the podcast because it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and then my final gift, which matches uh, something I got for you birthday. for your birthday, is are these little leather. Leather keyring? Uh, leather keyring. Look at that. A picture of Rue. Was that from Not on the High Street as well? I think it's on Not on the High Street, yeah. And then it says, I love mummy. Yeah, so I got my version of that. <gasps> yes. And lots of chocolates and lots of clothes for you. Uh, and it was a really, really nice Christmas. A you, different Christmas. You had so many gifts. We had, we had you to entertain. Um, anyway, so we are going. It's quite a nice day today. It was rubbish yesterday. So we're going to go and get some fresh air. Head into town so Rupert can have a nice long nap in his new pram seat. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's upgraded. graduated. Graduated, graduated. That's the one. Graduated to a big boy chair. He's a big boy now, and he's he adores it. Obviously, you guys know we got the Cybex, mm -hmm. so this is mm -hmm. the worn up, like this different seat from the carry cot. Um, so he's not that little anymore. He likes being in a seat, and we've got this fluffy, cozy foot warmer for oh, him. Oh, it's lovely. I'd quite he's like one. So so toasty in it got his little winter suit on um, and he adores it. He just falls asleep for like two hours and it's great. My arm's not used to holding this camera. Oh, I'm out of practice. Final, final thing I need to show you, just before Christmas, we oh. did we did complain in a little vlog about Cox and Cox not delivering oh, our yes. cushions. After months and months and then they arrived literally. Two days later. Yeah. Um, and they look really nice, so I'll show you a quick clip now. Actually, let's go through to the living room because we also need to show them the mirror. We've had a disaster. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go through it. Ta-da! Here they are. Here they are. 
so I got the sage green to match the units. There we go, to tie in both sides of the room. A little bit of blush pink, like a nice inky blue. But look, we had a we had a disaster. Oh dear. I know. I know, seven years bad luck. Seven years, Jamie. Mind you, we didn't actually smash it. I was going to say, it wasn't us who smashed it. I was yeah. in the kitchen, and all of a sudden I heard this almighty crash came through to the living room and it was just, it just fell off the wall. It was like on at that side and then it was resting on the sofa. Yeah. Lucky it hasn't damaged the sofa, but yeah, we're gonna have to get a new, new mirror. I wonder if you could actually just get a new piece of glass from Ikea. Um. And then at least we can sell it, but. Yeah, yeah, are you talking to So, me? yeah. Anyway, should we go for a walkies? I think so, I think we need some fresh air. Oh, he's yawning. I think it might be time. It's time for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this little kitty? Oh, it feels good to get out. It is, nice fresh air. Fresh air. We're going for a little walk and we're going to head into Richmond. For some lunch. It's uh, quite a nice day, so. It was miserable yesterday, so it's good to get out. Yeah, I reckon it's going to be busy. We've been so engrossed with eating the crepes, we forgot to film them. Savoury crepe. Oh, so Chicken, good. Chicken, guacamole, mushrooms, tomatoes, everything. So good. I think this might be my new thing to have when we come to Richmond. It used to be a, a nice Turkish chicken kebab. Crepe. This is my first savoury one ever. Yeah. It's lovely. Just look at those eye bags. Oh my goodness. Um, so I cooked, cooked a fish pie for dinner, which was really nice. We started um, the film that everyone was talking about at the moment, Don't Look Up, on Netflix. We started it this afternoon knowing that it'll probably take us all day to finish it. Um, it wasn't a relaxing watch because this one was keeping us busy. Uh, we just sort of had it on in the background, cooking dinner. Anyway, we got through it and it's brilliant. Really, really good film. I highly recommend it. I actually cried at the end because it's all about the planet and how we are destroying it. And um, yeah, made me very, very sad. But good message and good film. It's a bit of a dark comedy. Hello. We're just having a bit of a stretch. A bit of a stretch and a play, aren't we? Before bath time. Bath and bed tonight. Um, I think I might start him on a little bit of baby rice this week. What do you think? Maybe a little bit of baby rice, just see how he gets on. Um, he's really good now at sort of sitting up a little bit and his neck is super strong. A little bit more confident to try him on. Maybe some baby rice. Um, Jamie's just in the other room finishing the film because I actually finished it early in the kitchen whilst I was cooking. Um, and bless Jamie, he was battling to get Rupert to do a 20 minute power nap upstairs. It took forever, but managed to get him down for 20 minutes. And now he's happy as anything before bedtime. We've got about 20 minutes to kill before it's your bath time. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> he started making new sounds. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, he started um, like almost so properly talking to himself. Obviously, he's not, you know, talking. But like he's having little internal conversations with himself. It's quite sweet. Oh, do we want to do something different now? Okay. Do we want to do something different? Yeah? Should we sign off for tonight and see how the rest of the week goes? Yeah, okay. Signing off for tonight. See you in the morning. Say bye. Bye-bye, bye. Big moment, guys. This is Rue's first time in the carrier facing forwards. You're big enough to face forward. Oh, you're gonna see so much. So we're gonna go and get some fresh air for an hour, maybe grab a little coffee, and then come back and attempt the lunchtime nap in the cot. His daytime nights, he would normally have a long two hour nap um, out and about in the pram. He sleeps really well in the pram. He'll do two hours, two and a half hours sometimes. Um, but in the cot, he sort of wakes up every 45 minutes. He has managed to do an hour um, and it's a bit of a battle to get him to self settle. Um, so yeah, so we've been doing them out and about up until now, but I'm trying very, very hard 
because his morning nap's good in the cot. It's just his lunchtime nap. We're trying to do it a bit. We're trying to practice, aren't we? Anyway, so I thought I'll give him some fresh air for an hour um, and hopefully that will send him sleepy. Are you ready for it? Back home now. I think he really enjoyed that. Did you like facing forwards? Rupert is down for a nap. He actually went down quite well um, in about 10 minutes. Anyway, I've got five minutes while he's asleep, so I'm gonna make some lunch and probably do what mums do, um, find jobs to do. Washing, cooking, cleaning the house, all that fun stuff. I think Jamie's popping home for lunch soon as well, so he can keep me company. Who's fidgeting under here then? Uh, hello, is that fun? You love it. Bye. It's kept in quiet for ages. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that we're going to try baby rice for the first time. You look cute in this. You do look cute in They're this. Little boxes. This is a little Christmas present from someone. I think it was Mum or. We've got a few of them. Hannah. A lot of them have pandas on. <gasps> baby rice. Right. What are we saying? Baby rice mixed with breast milk. He opens his mouth, which is great. Do you not know what to do with it? You got to swallow it. Got to swallow it. it. That's it. Yeah. We're gonna have dinner with mummy and daddy. <laughs> Look at his face. His little Maybe facial expressions. Okay. Let's really try small liquidy bit first. A little bit more. Right. Yeah. Shall we keep going and eat our dinner? Yeah, I'll serve ours up. What is mummy cooking? Hello. I am cooking beef bourguignon. Actually, no, Ooh. I'm not cooking. Cook is in the company that we told you about before. When we, whenever we have a really busy week, we get cook food in. We do. Um, and we're having a busy week this week, so it's a cook dinner tonight. Beef bourguignon. Beef the last, bourguignon. The last oh. time, the last time we had beef bourguignon. Uh, this actual one this from Cook. This actual yeah. one, Jamie was spoon feeding it into my mouth. Whilst you, I was pushing you out, little yes. man. Little Gosh, that man. was. Yeah, it was in the oven, and we were like, okay, we need to go to the hospital. But hold on, five more minutes. Beef bourguignon's almost ready. Woo! To get the Tupperware, and I was feeding her spoon after spoon. Um, we anyway. just we've just come back from a little walk. We just went round the park, didn't we, for a little twenty-minute power nap? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have a nice dinner. I might have a beer. Who knows? Yeah, it's Friday night. I think we're gonna we're gonna oh, switch off you. from vlogging now. This yeah. will be up on Sunday. So one of us will edit it <laughs> by then. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll have a nice relaxing weekend. We might even film. It's nice to be back though. It is. It's nice to be back vlogging. Gosh, 2022. <sighs> family hug. Yeah. Week over. Are we now a family vlog? Yeah. Family vlog channel. Oh, my eyebrows look terrible. What have you done with them? Oh, you painted them. <laughs> no, I... Oh. His eyebrows. <laughs> Basically, I've just bought some new makeup. I'll probably put it in next week's vlog. Um, yeah, I was just testing out some new Charlotte Tilbury products and I may have bought some slightly too dark eyebrow pencil. Anyway, I'll show you next week. You may week. have to dye your hair. Mm. No, just re redo the eyebrows. See you next week. This looks fresh. See you next week. Bye. Like and subscribe. Bye.